Hi fellow flowers, Violet here and welcome back to another episode of Let's Get Weavy. In today's episode we're going to be talking about the cobra stitch which is pretty cool because it's our first animal that we're making with plastic lacing and it's a relatively simple stitch with a variation. So in the next video we'll be covering that variation where if you do the stitch a little bit differently you will get a twist with it which kind of looks like a double Chinese staircase. It's pretty cool. Stay tuned for that video. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. And before we get into the video, I wanted to let you guys know I just released my first ebook and it features five different beginner lanyard stitches. So if you're into that and you want to check that out, please click the link below. Um, but without further ado, let's get into how to make the Cobra stitch. So we're going to be starting with some Rex lace or plastic crafting lace, which you can get from your local craft store like Hobby Lobby or Michaels. Um, and I'm going to cut one of the strings to be about 10 inches. So my, my light pink string here is 10 inches and then my other strings are about 40 inches. So it's just kind of like a ratio of one to four just to give you some extra string at the end. And I'm going to start by just tying a knot with the three strings around my finger. It's a relatively easy start, but yeah, you just make a loop and then feed the ends of the string through that loop and pull it tight. The next thing that you're going to do is lay it down on a surface. If you'd like, you can actually use some tape and just place that right over the knot or over those top strings so that it doesn't move around. But as you get better at this, you will be able to do this without having it like anchored down to a surface. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make a C with the string that's on the left here, and I'm going to lay this C across the middle string. And then using the string on the right, I'm going to bring that over that C and then let me reach for the end here because then we're gonna take the end of the string that's on the right and this one needs to go behind the string that, behind like the rest of that C and then behind that middle string and through the C. So hopefully that made sense, uh, but we're gonna do it again, but we're gonna be doing it kind of starting with the C on the other side next. So here I'm just pulling it all tight and I'll kind of press it upwards just to kind of keep that all in place. But as I mentioned, we're going to make a C now with the other side. So make my C and I'll use one finger to kind of hold it here. And then with the string that is on the left, I'm going to, oh yeah, don't look at my nails. They're disgusting. Um, <laughs> so with the string that's over here on the left, it needs to come over the bottom of that C and then if you look at it, it kind of like looks like an H now. And so the center of that H, we need to go behind that and then behind the middle string and then and then through the C. So I have the end of my string here. I'm gonna go behind that little like H part in the middle here, then behind the middle here. If this string will listen to me, there we go. It's behind that and then through the C and pull it all the way through and we'll pull this all tight. Like that, voila. Now if we wanna take a look at our first cobra that we made, you can start to see the pattern coming together. And we're going to do it all over again where we'll, we'll make a, gosh words, where we will make the C starting on the left and we'll feed that right string behind and through, pull tight, and then this time we make our C on the right side, and then use the left string to go over and behind and then through. And it's really just a matter of alternating the, the strings back and forth and going through, and then you'll eventually get kind of like this twisty sort of design. Now, of course, time for some secret sauce. Here's a quick tip. If you want to add some more curl to your Cobra, or if you want to kind of control the direction of the curl, you can actually do that a little bit. So the way that you would do that is when you're making your stitch, you'll hold the main string or like the, the tongue string, the middle one, the one in here, like the pink string, you would kind of hold it in the direction that you want the cobra body to go when you're tightening everything down so I'll show you here what I mean by that I'm going to make a I'll start by making a stitch and I'll kind of hold 
the middle string in the direction that I want my cobra body to go. Um, so let me just loop this over here and I'll tighten it. And as I'm tightening it, I'm kind of pushing the body upwards. And then you'll see that the string is starting to kind of turn upwards now. But this step is totally optional. It will curl a little bit on its own, but that's just in case you want to kind of control the direction that it's going in case you need to like wrap it around something, for example. Now, a couple stitches later, I am nearing the end of my middle string. I have maybe about two or three centimeters left. And I want to leave a little bit of extra so that way I can trim it up in the end and have a little tongue coming out of my cobra's mouth. But before that, I'm going to kind of make sure I can get this as sort of straight as possible. And you'll notice that this whole time we've been weaving down the string, but now we're gonna flip it upside down and we're going to weave in the opposite direction. And something to keep in mind is that you want to try and keep the same string in the front and the same string in the back. So for me, the string that's in the front here is this one that I'm making the C with on the left. And I believe for this one, I did about six or seven stitches in the upside down direction. And then I'll flip it upside down again, or I guess this time I'll flip it right side up and I'll, I'll do two or three stitches in this direction. Does it make you feel dizzy, 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 dizzy? Does it make you feel? And once I'm happy with how it looks, I will flip the whole thing over and I will tie a knot underneath the base of the head. Does it make you feel dizzy, 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 dizzy? Uh, dizzy in my head. Does it make you feel something when I'm out all night? Trying to make you realize I'm worth the fight Come on and put your hands up 